Hey guys, welcome to my first devlog video. I am making a space side scroller shoot 'em up game. Here's some of the backstory to this game. Almost four years ago, I released my first ever game that I have made from start to finish by myself. This was when I was learning the Game Maker 1.4 game engine. This game was very flawed, but it was my first game. Even though it doesn't have much content, this game still means a lot to me. I put this game into beta, and I was planning on releasing it with a couple of updates. But I only got around to releasing only one update for the game. This update was the Halloween update. It added the pumpkin boss into the game, and in my opinion, I think it made the game a lot more fun. The game still lacks somewhere to spend gold, and it became useless. I then grew tired of trying to release updates for the game, so I went on to make another game. Far Dark in Space 2. Well, it was nothing like the original Far Dark in Space. I planned on adding story to the game, but it was told from one poorly made cutscene and a title screen. Now, it sounds like I'm hating on all my own games, which I still love them. They are my first games after all, but Far Dark in Space 2 is about a ship crashing on a planet. After you go on to shoot aliens, ah uh, yes, the story has a lot of quality. That's basically the entire game. Then I made Far Dark in Space Racers, which was basically a racing game for Dark in Space, which looks nothing like that. I don't even know how I came up with this strange story for this game, but apparently the ships get turned into shapes. I think I was trying to make the different games while trying to link them together into the Far Dark in Space story, and it became really weird. As you can see, I made a lot of unfinished projects while starting out as a developer. I have one last Far Dark in Space game to show you guys, and this is by far the best out of four Far Dark in Space games. Yes, four Far Dark in Space games. I was very creative when making my games. Far Dark in Space Remastered was one of the most polished and most fun Far Dark in Space experiences. And I know what you guys are thinking right now. If you say Far Dark in Space one more time, yeah I know, so far in the script I have already said it like 10 times. Okay, back to FDIS Remastered. This game to this day still holds up. I don't remember when I made this project, but it was probably just two to three years back. It had some cool power-ups and it even introduced a co-op mode. Watching the ships explode looks super good in this game too. That was my last FDIS game. So, the game I am working on right now, the initial idea for it was to put FDIS for mobile. I would have done that with the project, but I don't know what happened to the project files, so I am rebuilding the game from the ground up. I have turned to a new approach for this game. It is going to be built as a roguelike kind of game, where every level you can get upgrades and modifiers to your stats. As the levels progress, the enemies will get stronger and you will approach different kinds of enemies. Right now I have a couple of enemies in the game. They all have the same behavior, but I'm hoping to add a lot more diverse enemies with different behaviors throughout the game. When you die in the game, you will have to start back at level 1. I know it can discourage mobile players, so I will be having a global upgrade system where you can buy upgrades before the game starts and keep them forever. This first furthering the progression. That's my general idea. I might have to change the approach a bit. I am hoping to get some honest feedback from you guys. The support I have been receiving lately is massive. As of writing this, I have 127 subscribers. That may seem very little, but I appreciate every single one of you guys. Even the simplest things you guys do by watching my videos, or leaving comments, or subscribing, helps motivate me to get content out there. I'm going to end this video with a thank you to you guys. The game design community is awesome. I'm so glad to be a part of it. I'm gonna try to get a devlog out every week. I'm also going to do some more Godot tutorials. If you are interested in seeing a certain game or seeing a certain tutorial, let me know. I will incorporate your guys' ideas if I can achieve it. That basically leaves it for this devlog. I will show some development on the project in the next devlog. Currently, I don't have any footage of any development yet. I will be working on the project and getting the footage next week. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the next one.